No one's gonna fucking believe that. I've never seen diving uh, be a detrimental thing to anyone that's come on board. A lot of people that come diving uh, in Melbourne or learn to dive, it's because they're at a crossroads in their lives. They've had a major change happen and uh, it might be a marriage breakup or death in the family or even just, uh, you know, they're suffering from anxiety or stress at work and they just need a release. And they'll come, leave all their problems up in Melbourne or wherever, come down and go diving and they get under the water and they can't think of anything else but going diving. It's very beautiful, very serene down there. Whether it's a shipwreck or a massive wall, a massive swim through, forget about all of the drama you've got going on, whether you've got problems at home or problems at work. And you meet some incredible uh, human beings as well. Everyone's very, very humble. Everyone just comes by. Yeah, and if somebody that. accidentally turned his torch back on, they all disappear. And then he's <laughs> and he turned it back on again and they've all come out. <laughs> oh, okay. Beautiful. Awesome. Tonight we're going for a dive on Lonsdale Wall. Lonsdale Wall is part of uh, Port Phillip Head system. So 8,000 years ago, there was a river winding down from Melbourne, down Arthur Seat, back out through the heads. And then the sea levels rose 8,000 years ago, and it's all underwater now. So it goes from 10 metres down to 100. It's like the Grand Canyon underwater. One of the most dangerous stretches of the water in the world. We've got to time this just right. Uh, it's visually spectacular during the day, but at night time, it's just something else. As you can see, all the people have turned up tonight. All right, guys, just listen up for a minute. So, um, cool, we'll do, the, uh, we'll do the safety brief first before we go anywhere. Obviously, we normally do it on the boat, but it's easier to do it out here. Um, so, my name's Luke, I'm the skipper of Red Rover for this evening. We've got Lani as well, who's a qualified skipper and is helping out tonight as well. In the event of somebody falling overboard, um, we want to minimise that tonight because it is dark. You're all dressed in black. So, if you can kindly keep away, I know a few of you guys normally like hanging at the back there. Uh, if we can just keep away from the back of the boat tonight uh, during transit from the time we get on the boat here at Portsea to the time we get off slack you can do whatever you want but then when it turns turn around put it on your left hand shoulder head back up at the end of the dive it's going to flush you over the wall just like it does during the daytime and um, once you're up over that wall feel free to go for a bit of a drift but if you can shoot a bag that will be great yep Scrum, you can do it, buddy. Don't be shy. Come on, 
Dan, you want a hand? You're good? All right. AJ, you happy? Coffee. Who's at the back of the boat there? Is that Brady? Brady and Paul. Okay. All right, just Brady and Moods. Okay. Two divers ready. And go, go, go. Clip up. Okay, AJ and Sharky, go, go, go. Clear prop. Clear prop. Okay, Bruce and John, divers ready, make your way to the back. Keep going, keep going. Yep, that's a way to get out. There we go. Who was that, please? Right. Torch is on. Torch is on, guys. Come on. That's all right. You guys take your time, man. Yep. Go, go, go. Uh, 11. And go, go, go. Clear prop. Clear prop. Good job. Up you come. Don't shine the torch in my eyes. Good job, Dan. Good. There we go. Do you want me to see if I can get Spirit and Tazzy to turn their lights on the side on? Do you want me to give it a go? This is fucking cheeky as shit. No one's gonna fucking believe that. How'd you go, Warren? Good job, mate. See, I can't suck you in. Good job, Matthias. How'd you go, Brady? Don't keep coming up as far as you can go, mate. Keep coming. Clear prop. Just chuck those fins under. All good, Brucey? Moody, did you spit on my boat? <laughs> yeah, just down there. Are you sure? 
Yes. We only got two more. You're the second. Wide loading around the boat. You're second last on board. Do you know where you are? Hey. A little bit this side of where we started. No. I'll tell you how far you are from where you started. About one nautical mile. One what? You're a boarfish reef. Lovely. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, the cool, there you go. Clip up. <laughs> Good job, mate. Brady, yep. Warren. Yes. Beautiful. Cool night diver on the wall and whatnot, but the physics is the same, the diving's the same, but the experience is completely different. It's awesome. Very good. What do you reckon, Shaggy? Yeah, I agree. It's completely different at night. I've dived for 100 stones and, like, at night is amazing. No, I and we did see a shark. <laughs> Baby shark to do. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Amazing dive. I can't believe I haven't done it before. Good stuff. I've done hundreds of dives here. Never dived the water at night. Amazing. On your breather too, buddy. Yep. Yeah, good job. Yeah, come and have a seat, mate. We've got paramedics, police officers, fire people doctors, nurses, and they run stressful jobs and people want to forget about it, you know. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want to check out more awesome content then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to check out and see what we're up to on a daily basis then you can check out our socials down here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you somewhere out there in the big blue.